March 16, 2020, due to the coronavirus, Governor Cuomo signed an executive order closing schools in New York State for two weeks. School staff had to reimagine what school looked like seemingly overnight. Nobody could have predicted that two weeks would have turned into the rest of the school year. Thankfully, we were able to return to school in September, but school looked a lot different, with wearing masks, social distancing, and Google Meets. Then, schools were forced to go virtual again. The middle school staff understands that none of this is normal or easy, and we want you to know that it's okay not to be okay. Feel like a drop in the ocean that don't nobody notice. Maybe it's all just in your head. Feel like you're trapped in your own skin. And now your body's frozen. Broken down, you've got nothing left. When you're high on emotion and you're losing your focus and you feel too exhausted to pray. On the first day of Christmas, the students emailed me. What time is the Google Meet? On the second day of Christmas, the students said to me. Can you see me? What time is the Google Meet? On the third day of Christmas, the students said to me. What letter day is it? Can you see me? What time is the Google Meet? On the fourth day of Christmas, the students emailed me. Is this going to be on the test? What letter day is it? Can you see me now? What time is the Google Meet? On the fifth day of Christmas, the students said to me, do you wanna see my dogs? Is this gonna be on the test? What letter day is it? Can you see me now? What time is the Google Meet? On the sixth day of Christmas, the students emailed me. Uh, my computer's not working. Do you wanna see my dogs? Is this going to be on the test? What letter day is it? You can see me, right? 
What time is the Google Meet? On the seventh day of Christmas, the students emailed me. What Google invite? My computer's not working. Are my dogs cute? Is this going to be on the test? What letter day is it? You can you can see me now, right? What time is the Google Meet? On the eighth day of Christmas, the students emailed me. Why do we have homework? Where's the Google invite? I don't think my computer's working right. See my cute dogs! Is this gonna be on the test? Why is it B-Day again? see me yeah what time is the google meet on the ninth day of christmas the student said to me hey can i go get a snack do we really have to do homework google invite what um i think my computer's got a problem See these cute dogs. Is this gonna be on the test? What letter day is it? Yeah, I can see you. What time is the Google Meet? On the tenth day of Christmas, the student said to me, "When is the assignment due?" You gotta have some Oreos. I love my snacks. I am way too busy for homework. Nope. No Google invite. Um, yeah, my computer's not working. Do you wanna see my dogs? Is this gonna be on the test? Does the letter day even matter? Yeah, I can see you. What time is the Google Meet? On the eleventh day of Christmas, the student said to me, Can I please go see a counselor? When is the assignment due? Ooh, pudding this time. I'm hungry. Homework? I do not think so. Again, no Google invite. Yeah, um, my Chromebook ain't working. Do you wanna see my dogs? Is this gonna be on the test? What letter day is it? Yeah, can you see me? What time is the Google me? On the twelfth day of Christmas, the student said to me, I'm not playing Xbox. I really need to go see a counselor. When's the assignment due? Hey, popcorn, I am so hungry. Homework? Nah. Yep. Still no Google invite. Yeah, I think my computer died. Do you wanna see my dogs? The test is today? No more letter day. Can you see me now? What time Was the day before winter break and all through the hill, the teachers were stressing, they needed to chill. Their inboxes were filled with emails too many to read. The new message notification filled them with dread. 
The students were nestled all snug in their chairs, dreaming of video games that soon would be theirs. Mrs. Kirsten and Mr. Christie were checking in on Google Meet classes and drinking old coffee as thick as molasses. When what from the office arose such a clatter, the teacher sprang to the halls to see what was the matter, for straight up the sidewalk came a man wearing red. He was carrying a sack and wore a red hat on his head. He signed in the office writing S. Claus on the pad and spoke to the secretary who thought he was mad. On Bigelow, on Mapleview, I've parked my old sleigh. Please tell Officer Patterson not to tow it away. Then he threw them a wink and without looking back, he went through the classrooms and opened his sack. The teachers were speechless. The students, they stared. They were tempted to speak up, but none of them dared. Finally, Mrs. Kirsten recovered and asked, what in the world? But the old gentleman replied, I'm looking for good boys and girls. I sit at my workshop way up on the North Pole and looked for a school with great kids and Cleve Hill was full. You've listened to your teachers and I'm proud to say you're the best kids around so I've come all this way to say happy holidays. I think you're all great. I have toys and candies for kids in grade six, seven, and eight. And I didn't forget the teachers who all worked so hard at paid off the balances on their MasterCards. Now Christmas is coming, so I'm afraid I must leave to finish getting ready before Christmas Eve. Then laying a finger inside of his jacket, he pulled out a hall pass and disappeared with a racket. Merry Christmas, he called as he rose through the roof and disappeared in a cloud of pasture dust. From the roof, the custodian stared at the mess down below, and we heard him utter one word. Go! Thank you.